Hi there Fabric Jugglers, it's Babs here from Fiery Phoenix and today I'm going to do a very short overview of the contents of a pack of 32 sewing machine feet. This has been requested many many times by members of the group of Starting to Sew on Facebook so let's get on with the, looking at what the feet do. So this is the set of 32 feet, um, it's imported from China and it comes with a listing in Chinese of what each of the feet are doing which is what's causing so much confusion between members of, of our little group. Um, so what I'm going to do, whilst being incredibly careful not to let them fall out of the package again, um, every time I've tried to film this so far I've managed to drop all the feet all over the floor which won't help any of you very much. I will go through and just name each of the individual feet. Uh, there'll be a new playlist created on this channel with tutorials for each type of foot. So hopefully um, that won't take too long in the filming. And let's just crack on through with which foot does what. I've got my little cheat sheet over here so that I know that I'm not going to, to be giving you the wrong information. And let's keep our fingers crossed that I'm not going to drop these all over the table again. So we have a fringe foot. A cording foot, a braiding foot, pearl piping cording foot, a nine groove pin tuck, a seven groove pin tuck and a concealed zipper foot. We have a five hole cording foot, a six millimeter round rolled hem foot, a teflon snap on foot, open toe embroidery foot, open toe foot, a cording foot, and a quarter inch metal patchwork quilting foot. A straight stitch foot, a piecing foot, an edge stitch foot, a satin stitch foot, a seven hole cording foot, a patchwork edge joint foot, and a guide stitch foot. We have the notorious blind hem foot, a gathering or welting foot, um, a three, six and a three and six millimeter rolled hem foot, a round rolled hem foot in three millimeter, and a roller foot. Then we have an embroidery darning foot, an adjustable bias binder foot, a quilting darning embroidery foot, an adjustable zip foot, and a knit foot. So hopefully that will have made some sense. Um, I will have all of those descriptions written in the box below. There'll be a numbered diagram to go with this so that you can um, you can see what that information is. Um, I'll have that on my main website, fieryphoenix.co.uk. The very first what, tutorial that I'm going to be making is for the blind hem foot, as that is the most requested tutorial that I've had so far. Um, but if you've got any preference to other feet and the tutorials that you'd like to see going along with those, please drop a comment in the box below. Please like, share, subscribe if you haven't already, um, and I'll take a look around the rest of this um, the rest of this channel. Uh, it's growing really rapidly. Um, I upload at least two tutorials each week. Um, I always upload on a Tuesday, always upload on a Thursday, and you get some other bonus tutorials thrown in as well. So hopefully I will see you around. Bye for now. Okay, so here is, oh, let's see if we can see this. Here is the, the feet, the feet in question, right. So here are the feet that we're actually going to be talking about. And I have my little cheat sheet over here and I'm gonna walk you through just the name of each of the feet in this pack. They come with an incredibly helpful description in Chinese, which is why people get so confused. The so. We start off here with the fringe foot. We then have a cording foot and a braiding foot, a pearl piping cording foot, a I can't see upside down. <laughs> a quarter inch piecing foot guide, an edge stitch foot, a satin stitch foot, a seven hole cording foot. Patchwork edge joining foot. A guide stitch foot. A blind hem foot. 
No, that's not a blind ten foot. That's the blind ten foot. <laughs>